city of Clyde is now in its final few days before a crucial deadline. This arrives for a petition that could eventually allow for the sale of liquor inside the Clyde city limits. KTAB's Mercedes Hernandez reports from Clyde on gathering signatures for the petition and what some feel could limit future development projects in Clyde. A petition in Clyde is still 100 short of its 370 signature goal and it's crunch time as the petition must be ready by end of business this Friday. This is just a petition to allow us to get it on the November ballot so that our citizens can then make that decision whether they want it or not. The sale of beer and wine in Clyde has been allowed since 2010, but Mayor Roger Brown says it's liquor sales not yet approved that could be the key to unlocking a prosperous future for residents. We meet with businesses, restaurants like Chili, Applebee's, uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, these kind of companies, they require and their business models require them to have mixed drink sales available. It's not only the sales tax on liquor the city is hopeful to benefit from, but the promise of big franchises to set up shop in Clyde and for dollars being spent in neighboring towns that do sell mixed drinks to return. Some that want to drink will go to Abilene and purchase it. They'll go to Baird and purchase it. Why not keep that Clyde money in Clyde? This past March, the Clyde City Council also voted to construct a $14 million sports complex, which Brown says is already piquing interest. Without us even turning dirt on that place yet, there are already people that want to reserve it, want to use it. It's an if you build it, they will come mentality. And as Brown puts it, when they arrive, they will need places to eat, sleep, and spend money. But that can't happen if support for the petition runs dry. Council knows this is something that needs to happen for the city, so we'll get out and work and we'll continue all week to be knocking doors and talking to people. And Clyde, with coverage you can count on, Mercedes Hernandez, KTAB News. Thank you, Mercedes. In order to sign the petition, there are several qualifications. You must live inside the Clyde City limits, be a registered voter, and have voted in the 2018 gubernatorial election. If you aren't sure on the 2018 vote, well, all signatures will be verified by county officials. Petitions are at Thirsty's Beer Barn, Stalling Time, and City Hall in Clyde.